I look like some kind of 50s housewife. First I need to drink coffee myself, but I turned on the camera because this is just hysterical. I didn't feel like making a new pot of coffee, so I'm gonna drink leftover coffee, right? Um, my coffee pot doesn't have like a warmer thing on the bottom. My microwave broke. Actually, the whole wall broke. There's no electricity over there. We're not, I don't, I don't know. I, you know? Okay. So we're gonna warm up my coffee on the stove. I could just solve this whole problem by making a new pot of coffee. <laughs> But I don't want to, you know? Along with the fact that the microwave is broken, the toaster oven is broken, and the other day I ate raw waffles. Raw waffles. Only to realize after I ate the waffles that I could have cooked them on the stove. Whatever. <laughs> Mmm, tastes like day-old coffee. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby. What is good? What is popping? Aha. Woo. We are back in the kitchen today, which only means one thing. We're about to make coffee and we're about to make a mess. So today we're gonna be making a little TikTok recipe. Um, we're gonna be making that whipped coffee stuff that went viral. It's actually called Delgona coffee and it's so good. To try out the recipe, I made it for the first time the other day, actually, and um, somehow got it on the ceiling. So, go me for that one. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the whipped coffee today. I'm gonna whip out my barista skills since I haven't baristaed in like a month now. All right, I need some caffeine, so let's make this coffee. So to make this, you're only gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need sugar, instant coffee, and hot water, and then something to mix with. I have a milk frother. Um, I don't have like um, electric mixers. I do not have an electric mixer. I do have a whisk, but honestly, I don't have the time to sit here and whisk coffee for who knows how long. Actually, I do have the time. I don't have anything to do during the day ever anymore. First thing you need to do is boil some water. It's important that the water that goes in here is hot water. Don't put cold water in it because it won't work. Something about science and the way that the sugar and the coffee and the hot water react it makes it like bind, I don't know, something. S science. Science YouTube, help me out. Oh my god, please don't. Oh wait, I forgot to mention like one of the most important recipes. You're gonna need milk as well because you're gonna need to put the coffee with some milk. Also a cup if you fancy drinking out of a cup. You could use probably any other vessel, but I choose a cup. Got my cup. Fun fact, I was washing one of these cups one time and I had my hand in it like scrubbing it and the cup broke around my hand and I had to go to the hospital and get stitches. So yeah. I can't even do dishes right. Now that I have my mise en place, that's a really fancy way of saying I have all my together. Learn that from Bon Appetit. So this recipe is so easy, it's, it's ridiculous. Like if I can pull it off, you can. Basically it's like a one to one to one ratio. So what you're gonna do, get your sugar. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of sugar, boom. Two tablespoons of instant coffee. I also used instant espresso with this and it worked out really well, just so you know. I think it also tasted a lot better, but I ran out, so that's why I'm not using it. Two tablespoons of hot water. So we're looking like this. Looks like soy sauce. All right, now at this point, one would conclude, like just put the milk frother in the bowl and like froth it up, make it all fluffy. No, this mixture will be everywhere but inside the bowl. Do not do that. I'm going to dump the mixture into a bowl. Boom, mixture in the cup. Not sponsored. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> All right, so I have the mixture in here. It does not look appetizing whatsoever. I'm gonna turn on the milk frother and hope it all works out. While you froth the milk, you can do some activities like Bedroom Abby interrupts this message. Once again, thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Curology. Love you guys. All right guys, so in these crazy times, I think it's really important to remember self-care and to take care of your skin and everything. I think it's really easy to forget to like care for yourself when you aren't leaving your house or like seeing people. I'm really not much of a self-care person. I do not take baths. I don't do like masks. I don't do self-care nights. 
but the one and only thing that I do care about and that I do take care of is my skin. Now my skin has had kind of a rough past, um, <laughs> literally. My face had a lot of texture and like little bumps and everything everywhere. I personally just didn't feel confident in my own skin like ever. And I got me some Curology and now we're doing good. I've used Curology for exactly a year now. I started it last April and it is now April. This is what she looks like. <laughs> Boom. Ah! Oh my god, they changed the packaging! This is so exciting! It's the little things, guys. <laughs> so this is my brand new package of it. My dermatology provider is Jessica. In my super bottle, I have niacinamide, clindamycin, and azelic acid. I use this at night to keep the breakouts off my face. And then in the morning and night, I use the cleanser and the moisturizer. <laughs> but I just got really excited because they changed the packaging. It says clean sweep and smooth sailing. Now that I'm done swooning over the packaging. When you sign up with the link, all you have to do is fill out your skin type and everything. Tell them how your skin rolls, what your problems are, what you want to fix. And then they send you over a free kit. All you have to pay is the $4.95 shipping and handling. It's amazing. Also, side note, their delivery is very fast. So yeah, for my skin, I had a lot of bumps and a lot of redness. Oh my god, the redness. Oof. I had a lot of breakouts on my forehead and like on my cheek area. Not anymore though, because Curology treated that. So yeah, I hope you guys try out Curology because it actually works, like truly. I've been using it for a year now. That's the biggest commitment I've ever made in my life. Basically, all you have to do is click the link in my bio, fill out your skin quiz. You'll be connected with a dermatology provider who will give you a formula that will work for your face and help you achieve your skin goals. All you have to pay is the $4.95 shipping and handling and it's yours. Anyways, thank you once again, Curology, for sponsoring this video. Back to the coffee making. Froth it until you see some stiff peaks. Do I know really what that means? No, but that's what they say on all the recipes, so. If you have like um one of those milk things, it's going to work out a lot better than it's working out. It works just fine with a milk frother, but it could be better, you know? One of these days, I will just have the correct kitchen appliance. Calm down. It's like, it's pretty thick. Not quite thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, but it's pretty thick. Next, all you got to do, pour some milk in your cup. Pour it on top and voila. I haven't used this instant coffee yet for this recipe, so this is kind of like a taste test as well. I have no clue what this is about to taste like. The texture of this actually reminds me of Starbucks cold foam, and like, we all know how I feel about cold foam. Like, mm. Also, now that the coffee shops are closed, you're forced to become your own barista. All right, guys, let's try it. Thank you. Thank you. I will be here all week and probably all month and probably all next month and the month after that because we're in like quarantine, but like, oh my God, that is, that's good. Mm. Chef's kiss every time. Now this coffee is on the sweeter side, definitely, but it's still so good. Like I'm personally a black coffee drinker. As you can see, I'm drinking black coffee. I don't know why I had to prove it like that, but I can't even compare it to any taste that I've had before because to me, it doesn't taste like anything I've ever had, you know? I think the only option is for you to make this at home. It's honestly really fun to make. Makes you feel like you're some kind of fancy barista when like that's all you had to do. Oh my God. Okay. Sprinkle a little cinnamon on top and all over the floor. There it is. Also, if you have chocolate milk in the house, use chocolate milk. I made it with chocolate milk last week and I think I made like four in one day. Yeah, I didn't sleep. I haven't been sleeping that much because I stay up until like 10 a.m. Yes, I stay up until 10 a.m. I'm um, playing The Sims, but like I'm not playing The Sims. I'm just like building houses and decorating the houses and then I'm like, oh, I hate this house and then I move houses and then I build another house and then I redecorate that house and then I'm like, oh my God, this house is so cool. And then five minutes later, I'm like, I hate this house. You know, I just continue. I'm trying to figure out why I started talking about that. I haven't been sleeping like at all. So like this and this is what's been just keeping me going. 
Also, if you want a flavor in the coffee and you don't want to use like syrups or anything, use flavored coffee. I used hazelnut flavored coffee the other day. Once again, I do have like chocolate syrup. I got coffee all over this sweater thing. You know, this is why I can't wear the color white. This is when things just start getting messy. Um, I should have ended the video a while ago, but I, but I didn't, so now we're just going to start getting messy. You know, personally, I liked it better before. What are you gonna do? But yeah, guys, that's how you make Dalgona or whipped coffee or fluffy coffee or thick coffee, whatever you wanna call it, whatever floats your boat. If you try it out, tag me in it on Instagram. My Instagram is at Abby Lucia. Follow it if you wanna see my face or whatever. My mom just pulled up and there's a disaster on the table, so like, I'm gonna have to end this swiftly. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Ah. Oh my God, she's walking. I feel like <laughs> that Nicki Minaj meme. Hey, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're in the clear.